One of the fascinating things about being an artist is there is an infinite amount of things to learn and explore. And so I will never be bored. I don't know that I'll ever fully understand all that is possible with oil paint. And with each painting I get closer, but there's an infinite number of ways that you could apply the paint to the canvas. I wanted to paint something that was challenging. So I thought, what is the most challenging thing that a painter can do, from, for, in my opinion, which was people and patterns. So then I thought, okay, where do patterns exist? And, and I was really interested in interior spaces. And so I started painting my sisters and myself and then expanded that to include my friends in bedroom settings. The bedroom is my favorite space in the entire world. When you're alone, it's a space where you feel comfortable, you know, crying or um, being really happy. It's like, it's a space where you're 100% yourself. Formally, the bedroom allows me, with composing works, uh, so many possibilities of how I might have a figure arranged um, within the bed because is the figure lounging? Are they sleeping? Are they, you know, relaxing? Are they reading? It really begins with, in, you know, inviting my friends and asking them if they would be willing to model for me. And then they come over and I'll take a ton of pictures of them. And after they leave, I'll go through all the pictures and an idea for a composition will start to happen. The photographs are combined together. I'm just using Photoshop. It ends up being this gigantic composite image. It might be that her facial expression in one, per in one image is perfect. And I like the positioning of her hands in this other image and the way that her legs are in this other image. And so she becomes a composite image. Before they've arrived, I've gone through Vogue and W Magazine and, you know, other fashion magazines and selected poses that I'm interested in trying to recreate. And so the model and I work together to try to recreate these poses, which are actually not possible at all. Like the, the women are contorted in ways that are not only not comfortable, but physically impossible. I subscribe to these magazines. I love looking at them. And so I would be a hypocrite of sorts to say that um, they're bad. Everything in this painting um, and all the paintings that I make are things that I'm attracted to. Like I'm attracted to these colors, I'm attracted to these patterns, I'm attracted to these women. And so I'm not necessarily like trying to make a statement with the work. I get that a lot, like, how dare you continue to perpetuate this notion of the need to be classically beautiful. And I don't think of the work as doing that necessarily. I think of it as a much more personal investigation. And I also think it's a lot to ask of an artist to solve all of the world's problems with a single painting. You know, I'm only 31. I'm really, I'm, I'm young in my career. And I think that when I'm 60 or 70 and I intend on working on this body of work for forever, I'll have a much better understanding of where I stand on those issues.